Right, guys, you can always ask, what does James actually eat in a day? I've shown you little bits and bobs, meals here and there. Today, me and Dan are actually going to show you, are we doing all the meals today? Yeah. We're going to do all the meals today. So we're going to give you a breakdown of each meal below in text. That We can do that, can't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So, obviously, meal one, you know the guys, the two guys, we're to milk every single day. Um, quick breakdown, beans, two sausages, turkey bacon, four poached eggs, two toast, there's another toast coming, mushrooms, some green stuff, because the green stuff makes me feel good, <laughs> cappuccino, and a carrot cake comes after. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my fitness pal today, and we'll do a little workout of the macronutrients. We will post below. The rest of my meals for the day, I pretty much know the macros because they're very easy to work out because the food sources are really simple. So uh, yeah, guys, first time Dan's been down here, so he's going to test it as well. <laughs> Staple in the off season. If you've been eating like this in the off season, is it really worth doing in off season? Meal number two, but preparation for meal number three. So meal number two, you can have M um, not MRE, you can have isotope and. Really broke, nice and easy. Um, I want 60 grams of protein from isotope. I want about 80 grams of carbs from Ready Break. And then what I'll do while this is happening is we'll prepare some chicken in the uh, air fryer. So we'll use this beauty. Everyone's using these now. Protein. Get over it. <laughs> Little pre boiled kettle. That's it, easy. And it's stir and it's done. Beautiful. Protein, carbs, beautiful. We thought you can add honey, peanut bar, anything like that as well. So I might add a bit of uh, almond butter to it just to up the calories. So you just get some additional fats as well. So I've got And that's meal number. That's meal number two. Potatoes. All right. Meal three. Two for me. One for Dan. And chicken. So we're going to do. Um, I have two jackets. I have these two. Dan can have this relatively good size one here. Um, and then I have 275 grams of chicken. Pretty much per per meal that I have. So really basic food. Simple meal. Um, what I sometimes do if I'm hungry, I'll just add like a piece of fruit, so maybe an apple or a grapefruit, just for some additional carbs. In the off season, I like to add like fruit, so I'll probably add a grapefruit. So that's meal free, guys. Right. Oh, another meal. One apple, one grapefruit in good condition. And I'm going to have a protein shake, but we're not going to use isotope this time, we're going to use the MRE light, which is a meal replacement. So the difference with this and the uh, isotope, isotope is just a whey isolate, so it's a uh, milk based protein. MRE light is actually a animal based protein, so a salmon protein, beef protein, uh, egg, uh, brown rice protein, pea protein. So it's just a blend of uh, animal proteins. And uh, I have three scoops of this. I'm going to have that actually as a shake. And then what I'll do is slice this up nicely and just pick it like a tree. So this meal is not overly carb heavy. Um, but the next meal will be a bit heavier in carbs. Uh, brand new top. Right, so the meal that we after 
the uh, last meal, which was a shake, will be three steak burgers. So that's these. Three of those. I'll have rice, which I will use jasmine rice. Um, burger wise, yeah, three steak burgers and then 150 grams of rice in the rice cooker, which comes to about, I think about 100 and 10, 120 grams of carbs. And protein wise, it's probably going to do about 60 grams of protein and then probably, um, got 40 fat, maybe even more. So that's a higher calorie meal. So I have this shake before, so it's not too heavy so that I can eat the next meal, which is going to be quite heavy. Pretty easy. So, steak burgers and rice. The final meal of the day will be just two ingredients. It's going to be far zero fat yogurt, almond butter. Um, it's not actually this yogurt, so I'll have to go around and get the one I want because this is the one that's mixed with honey. So I have the plain one, and I'll have 500 gram pot, so the whole pot basically, which is like 50 grams of protein. And then I'll have with that uh, about 50 grams of almond butter, which will push the protein up a little bit and the fats and carbs as well. That's a great meal before bed because it's a slow release protein. Um, yogurt's really good because it also has the biocultures in there, so the good um, probiotics and prebiotics, etc. So all in all. It's a great last meal, it's light, it's easy to go down, it tastes like pudding, um, which is what you want after you've eaten meat all day. So yeah, it's a really easy final meal, so I suggest that to clients that I've had in the past, usually before bed, because the last thing you want to do when it's bedtime, is start cooking. So great little combination, far yogurt, almond butter, before bed, it's, uh, it's a good one.